What did uh, Coach Julian talk? How did he talk you through the rounds? How did he keep you from losing it in Doha? <laughs> yeah, so he, he did a good job with that. Um, he pretty well, and I've learned from experience too. I, you know, I made the world team in 2017, and sure. I got out in the semis, so I know what it feels like to just you know be a letdown, and you know you earn these spots for Team USA. So yeah. when you earn these spots for Team USA, you don't want to go and travel to a different side of the world and represent them in a in a bad way. You know, sure. nobody should ever be, when you're wearing the Team USA jersey, you should never be just be happy to be there. Yeah. You know, you should be there and you should be competing and, you know, you should be meddling for the most part because we're the greatest country in the world when it comes to track and yeah. field. Yeah. Um, so when I ran in 2017 and I failed to make a final along with Isaiah Harris and Drew Window at the time, you know, I just felt like, man, like we just did a terrible job at representing the United States when it comes to the 800. You know, yeah. we didn't have any guys make final. Like that's terrible. So that happened in 2017, 2018. Um, I got knocked out at world indoors in the prelims, um, still immature. I think I was 20 at the time still. Um, and I just didn't have racing strategy down. And again, I had that same letdown where it was like, I'm sorry, everybody. Like I just wasted a spot. I traveled all the way to Birmingham, UK again. And you know, I couldn't, I couldn't do what I came to do. Uh, so once Doha 2019 came, I know, I know how it feels to just, you know, to, to be a letdown and to be a choke artist or to, to not achieve what I'm, i am was there to achieve. So when 2019 came, I kind of had all that on my back along with a coach who was willing to talk me through rounds, like you said, like Pete was able to do. And I think I just learned from experience. Like it was a big, long, painful learning curve for me. And it still is a learning curve. For, it's still a learning curve for me. You know, I don't know everything. Um, but it was just a lot easier to deal with rather than 2017 worlds compared to 2019 worlds. You know, I was more mature. I was more confident in my workouts. I was more confident in my coach. I was more confident and my training group, and my training partners, and what I'm putting in my body and what I'm doing. So I think um, all that on top of Pete being able to, um, you know, just control my environment and what I'm doing and, uh, you know, who, who I'm listening to and actually enjoying these camps leading up to Doha, I think played a, a huge factor in me winning out there.